My cat, yes, is always tired. My cat is always tired. And, um, like, that's what cats do. They sleep, like, 90% of the day. Um, and thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. I was actually up until, like, 4.30 in the morning. Rather, I was... It's complicated. It's a complicated story, but the end result is we have a new assignment today. We have a new assignment today. Um, so today, uh, we're going to kind of go over... Oops. Um, we're going to kind of go over, uh, we're going to start by going over what we did yesterday a little bit because I've been getting a lot of, uh, responses that the last part of the assignment was very, kind of too much. It was, it was a bit too much. And so, um, the the last part of the class of the year, the last, the, the pH to concentration and concentration to pH. So that's like the hard part of this, uh, the unit that we're doing. And, um, th th and that's kind of the reason that I introduced it first in the first lesson is to give us extra time to think about it and struggle with it and like try to wrap our heads around it. Um, because the more we talk about it, the more sense it will make. Um, and just letting in the last few straggling students. And I think we're down to just the one. Okay. So, so today um, it was going to be movie day. Eventually it will be movie day. We're going to talk about making soap from sodium hydroxide and vegetable oil. Um, and, um, and we'll, we'll watch the fantastic Mr. Nile Red, um, doing the same thing. And, but, uh, for the interim, oh, a couple of things clearing up. Uh, so there is the fourth quarter pre CFA. There's the pre CFA. And if you've turned this in already, if you've done this already, thank you so much. Um, please turn it in. We know that it uh, will be difficult to like the, you know, verging on, I don't know this stuff. But the point of this thing, the point of this assessment is for you all to tell us how well you feel like you understand the material that's on the, the assessment. And like, we know that it's not going to like you, like, We'd be really surprised if you really understood things. So just just tell us tell us what what you're how you feel about it, you know, like how your understanding is, and that's that's the point. That's what we were trying to know uh, because we want to it, here we we want to be able to demonstrate that we're good at what we're doing. So we want to see an improvement between the pre and the mid and the post CFA. And so this is the pre, and it's okay if you don't know how to do this stuff. That's what we're, that's like, that's why it's the pre CFA. We know, we know that it, we haven't covered this stuff. Um, there are Cornell notes. Please prepare your Cornell notes. Um, we'll be going over some uh, more of the same stuff from yesterday. Uh, we'll be going over it today and we'll be looking at that assignment. Um, so uh, let me just do that. Whoops. I'll switch to period six. I'm going to add a page. And it's going to be the math science class notes. And <clears throat> so today we're going to be saying more about pH. More about pH. And what we're going to be talking about, we're going to, be, we're going to talk about um, pH and the base 10 logarithm. Um, we're going to briefly, briefly mention Bronsted and Lowry. Uh, Bronsted-Lowry acid base. 
definition. And we might also talk briefly, uh, it's going to be movie day saponification. Um, and for the homework, uh, we have the pre-CFA. We have uh, the worksheet from last time. And I've been asked to not lead with this, but um, would an extension help? Like, give me a give me an emoji response and Zoom emoji response if if extensions are the thing for the worksheet that we started yesterday. I have one. Thumbs up. All right, we have three. Worksheet. And then we have the soap making acti activity. Soap activity. Soap making activity. Soap making activity. I just want to check my. Okay, I do have mic levels in OBS. That means I will be recorded. And that's good. Okay. All right. Add space in the lecture notes. Oh, space so that I can have space to talk about things. So remember yesterday when we we talked about this Bronsted Lowry definition of acids and bases. And Bronsted and Lowry, they said that an acid is anything that'll donate a proton or donate H plus. It's the same thing. A proton and H plus are the same thing because when a hydrogen atom loses its electron, it's left with only its nucleus. And the nucleus of uh, the most common isotope of a hydrogen atom, the nucleus is just a proton. So we use proton and H plus or hydrogen ion interchangeably when we're talking about pH. And so that's what we're going to do right now. Let me grab my drawing tablet. And there we go. So, so yesterday we said that um, we had this, there was this kind of, there was, there was a, a tricky kind of question that we, we had some trouble with in the, in the Kahoot, where we said, if we have this thing H A and, um, and I'm, I'm color coding this, so this is new. So H A plus like H H two O, and that's going to go and turn into. Um, it's going to kind of exist in equilibrium. Remember the equilibrium arrows. I'm going to just add a plus sign so that I don't have to keep going back and forth quite so much. And that's going to turn into this thing H3O plus. So the, the generic acid that we've set up here um, is going to donate its proton. It's going to donate its H plus to water. Water is going to pick up that H plus and become H3O plus. And then what we'll be left with in, uh, is the deprotonated form of that generic acid. We're going to call that A minus. So this is just a generic acid, any kind acid. And water, in this case, is going to be acting as a base. Base. Because it's going to be accepting that proton. And then over here on the product side, H3O plus is the conjugate. So the base forms a conjugate acid. It's the conjugate acid of the base. So I've color coded things to like make them correspond with one another. And over here, A minus, this is going to be the conjugate base of our generic acid. 
conjugate base of HA. Okay. And this word conjugate, that it means that it means it means they're married. <laughs> it means they're married. So they're inseparable. And I, I don't wanna I know times change, like it's an outdated notion that marriage is indelible, but uh, well that's how it's used here, so we'll stick with it. Conjugate. Conjugate is like the different form. It's this different form of the same thing. Different form same thing. They're married. So the acid forms a conjugate base. The base forms a conjugate acid. After, you know, that transfer of protons is complete. That transfer of H+. Plus. All right. So that was, that was the, the thing that seemed most confusing. And I, I don't want to, I don't want to worry everyone too much about the Arrhenius definition versus the Bronsted Lowry definition. Like that simply doesn't really actually interest me that much. This though is kind of like, this is an important concept. Kind of this it's, I want you to, I want you to get, get a hold of this thing here. I want you to get a hold of this thing here. And what's next? So then we talked about the auto ionization of water. And we've talked about this before. How, um, so when we were talking about the different types of reactions, we said that in order to deal with our single replacement reaction, we have to look at water as though it's low key ionic, because water will do this thing where it auto, pure water auto ionizes, auto ionizes. It splits apart into H plus and OH minus, auto ionizes at a product concentration, product concentration of 10 to the minus seven moles per liter. Ten to the minus seven moles per liter. So it's auto ionizing a <laughs> at a product concentration of ten to the minus seven moles per liter. So what does that mean? So that means that the concentration of each of these products, because they're little they'll both be the same because they're in a one-to-one -one ratio. The concentration of both of these products is going to be 10 to the minus seven moles per liter. So we'll have a concentration of H plus equal to 10 to the minus seven moles per liter. We'll have a concentration of OH minus. That's 10 to the minus seven moles per liter. Auto ionizes that are, and these are I said these are tiny huge numbers tiny huge numbers so uh, they're they're kind of cumbersome and unwieldy and unfortunate to think about so along comes mr. Soren Sorensen in like the 1800s and uh, late 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 19th century and uh, and he says wouldn't it be great if we could have something that like dealt with these in like simple whole numbers he's like well i mean these are both powers of 10 right so we're gonna we're gonna use the base 10 common logarithm base 10 logarithm because like the log base 10 of 10 to the minus 7 is minus 7 so this is like the power of 
that we need to raise 10 to to get this number, the power that we need to raise 10 to to get this number is going to be minus 7. And then, you know, Professor Sorensen had said, well, wouldn't it be great if this was a positive number instead of a negative number, and so we multiplied both sides by negative 1. And that leaves us with, you know, so the negative, this is called the anti-log, the anti-log, or the negative base 10 log of this, the opposite of this, the opposite power of 10 that we need to raise 10 to, opposite power of 10 that we need in order to get this number is equal to 7. And from there, we said, well, what we're, what we're aiming at is that we call this thing, this whole thing, this negative base 10 log is a lowercase p. And th we, then we say that the, the anti-log of the concentration of H plus is, uh, so pH, this thing, is, is the anti-log, negative log of the concentration of H plus. We also can say then that the antilog this POH is negative log concentration of OH minus. And since both of those values are seven in pure water, so the pH plus the POH, the pH in pure water is 7, pOH is also 7. In pure water, in pure water, at standard temperature and pressure. Um, and since as one of these goes up, the other is going to go down in a one-to-one -one ratio, we can say that pH plus pOH is equal to 14. So, so what this says is that 10 to the negative pH power is the concentration of H plus. And 10 to the negative OH, sorry, sorry 10 to the negative pOH power is the concentration of OH minus. That's what that negative log means, negative log. So with those things in mind, let's look at an example. Let's look at an example. I'm not going to, I'm not going to switch away to the uh, I'm just going to pull an example from, so this, this, what I'm, I forgot to share my screen. Why didn't anyone tell me to share my screen? Can, you can all, you can all see my video. That's, that's why I mean, you can all see my video. Um, okay. So, uh, now you can see both my video and the thing that's on my screen in front of me. Um, the video can't see the thing that's on my screen in front of me, but that's okay. Everyone who sees the video will have the worksheet, and I'm about to just copy and paste something. Um, so we're going to look at one of the values on the table here. We have this value that says that we suppose we have a concentration of H plus that's 3.72 times 10 to the minus 10. Paste it here. I'll make it larger. So this is our concentration of H plus. Ah, help. 
hit the wrong button. There's a button on my drawing tablet. So our concentration of H plus, there's a button on my drawing tablet that lo lets me scroll. Um, and this is moles per liter. Concentration of H plus is 3.72 times 10 to the minus 10. And we also, we want to know all the other stuff. So we want to know like concentration of OH minus, we want to know pH, we want to know pOH. All right. So we know H plus, we know H plus, so we can, we can pretty easily solve for pH using this equation here. So we know, we know our concentration of H plus, we know that pH is equal to the negative base 10 log of the concentration of H plus. So we want to find that pH. So our pH is going to be the negative log of this 3.72 times 10 to the minus 10 moles per liter. And this is like this whole thing here. We can just kind of plug that into our, our calculator. So, um, so I'm going to start off. So there are, there are kind of three buttons that I'm using. The first, I have a TI-36. The first two buttons are up in the top left. Uh, they're just below the second button. So the, the one button is LN, which stands for natural log, uh, and then log, which stands for common log. And the common log is the one that we're going to use. Um, and then the other one below that is 10 with a box up in the exponent place. Uh, oh, and E with a box in the exponent place. So, um, and finally, the third button is down here at the bottom, and it's the uh, minus sign with parentheses around it. Minus sign with parentheses. Because I want to make, I want to take the opposite of whatever thing that I'm doing. So, um, so for this, I'll, I'll hit that minus sign, uh, then to make the operation the opposite, and then I'll hit the ln log button twice, because the first time I hit it, it gives me ln, which is natural log, but I want the common log, the base 10 log, not the base e log, so I hit it twice and it reads, neg now it should read like this, negative log, and then I just start typing in a bunch of zeros. I'm, I'm just going to convert that from scientific notation to standard notation by moving the decimal place over 10 places which gives me nine zeros and then three seven two so point one two three four five six seven eight nine three seven two hit enter and it gives me a number that's nine point four two nine and then some other stuff but we only have three significant digits so we only care about four of those numbers the fourth digit is greater than five so uh, we'll round up, and our pH then is going to be 9.43. And I can forget about moles per liter because pH is actually its own unit. It is its own unit because it already stands for concentration of H+. So our pH is 9.43. Our pH is 9.43. Now that we know our pH, we can pretty easily find our pOH because we have this convenient thing here where pH plus pOH is equal to 14. So pH is equal to 9.43. We know pH oops, plus pOH is equal to 14. And so our pH is 9.43. And then, uh, that, so 9.43 plus our pOH is going to be equal to 14. So we'll just subtract 9.43 from both sides. We're left with pOH equal to 14 minus 9.43. I plug that into my calculator because it's too early in the morning to do maths at 11.46. It's always too early to do mental arithmetic for me. I, all right. 
let's see, 14 minus 9.43, says the guy who spent a lot of the previous quarter doing calculations while carrying ones and so forth. And we get POH equal POH equals 4.57. POH equals 4.57. So now, now, the only thing we need to find now is that concentration of OH minus. So we know that POH is equal to the opposite power of 10 that we need to get the concentration of, H, uh, of OH minus. Opposite power of 10 that we need to get OH minus. So if we, so this is this is the opposite of the power of 10. It's the opposite of the power of 10 that we need to get this concentration here. So what we'll do is we'll raise 10 to that negative power, 10 to the minus 4.57 is our concentration of OH minus. So this is what I mean when I say that, you know how like multiplication and division are like this two different sides of the same coin? Well, logarithm, the logarithm and the exponent are also two sides of the same coin. So now I have a thing that I can plug into the calculator. Um, this time I'm going to start up here with that E square 10 square button. I'm going to press that once, I get E, I press that again, I get 10. And then once again, because it's a negative value in the exponent, I'm going to hit that minus sign with the parentheses around it to give me a negative value. And then I just type in that number, 4.57. I hit enter and I get 0.57 like four zeros and then two nine six five two six nine one five when we convert that to scientific notation there is my there we are we'll convert that to scientific notation and find that our concentration of OH minus is two point six nine because the fourth digit is a one so we'll round down two point six nine times ten to the negative five moles per liter all right and now we're done with that row on our chart done with that row on our chart and that's kind of it that's all the that's that's the that's the review that I have for today um, I'm trying to decide I'm not sure if I'll violate any I think I might violate copyright if I record me narrating Nile Red's video um, so I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna stop the recording and uh, go into movie day it's movie day understand now i'm okay so so what i'm going to do is i'm going to extend the deadline uh i think that's fair